Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm so excited to share with you my newest fairy kit. This is the Holiday Flower Fairy Kit. You can purchase this in my Etsy shop. There is a limited number of these. I'm excited to show you all of the be beautiful details um, that come with this kit so that you can make your own unique flower fairy dolls for the holidays. If you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That would be awesome. And stick around to the end to see some different ways I've put some fairies together using the materials that come in this kit. Okay, so the kit comes in this darling box that is perfect for gift giving. And in it, you'll get everything you need to make three holiday flower fairies. You'll get three wooden beads, three pieces of floral wire, embroidery floss for the skin and the hair for all three dolls. You'll get three gorgeous flowers, this beautiful green peony, a red ranunculus, and then this gorgeous white rose. These flowers are so pretty and I love these colors together. And then you'll get some thread that matches the flowers. You'll get three separate glitter blends, a green, a red, and a gold. You'll get a piece of, um, pine pipe cleaner and six pieces of ribbon and we'll be using these to make a crown for our fairies and then this little packet is probably my favorite part of this kit this has some beautiful embellishments and some crystals inside of it to decorate your dolls with so to go into a bit more detail about the supplies you will get a wooden bead floral wire and embroidery floss for the skin and the hair for three separate dolls. If you would like to customize this, you can pick different uh, hair colors and different skin colors for each doll. In Etsy, when you're ordering, it only lets you choose for the first doll. So just let me know in uh, the notes what other two skin tones and hair colors you'd like if you do want to mix that up. So you'll choose between a light and olive and a dark brown black color for each of the skin tones. And then the hair colors to choose from are blonde, light brown, a dark brown black, and this gorgeous auburn color. That is my favorite color for fairy doll hair. Love it. I have three kids that have red hair and it's my favorite. Okay, and then the flowers. So the first one is this gorgeous white rose. And I have used this before uh, when I make bride dolls. It is just a really beautiful flower. I love how flowy it is and it just makes the prettiest fa uh, fairy skirt. Then you'll also get this really pretty soft green peony. It has lots of ruffly layers. Um, it has a little bit of cream in it and it looks so pretty with gold and champagne colored glitter. So you'll get this gorgeous flower with tons of layers of beautiful petals. And then this gorgeous dark red ranunculus. Um, this, the tips of this are a little bit darker. It's just the most beautiful red. And then the three colors of thread, you'll get white, a green, and a red. You'll get three custom glitter blends, and these are all hand mixed by me. I like to use different shapes and sizes of glitter because it gives you a more sparkly, beautiful way to decorate your doll. So up close, here is the green, and it's got a little bit of gold in it. It has some darker green, and it looks really pretty on all three colors of the flowers. And then this red has a deeper red in it and some bigger pieces of uh, sparkly red glitter. And then, of course, the gold. And this has some iridescent white stars and gold stars stars in it. My goal with the glitter was to give you three different colors that are interchangeable so you could use them with any one of the dolls and they're going to look gorgeous. The colors work really well together. And then you'll get this pine pipe cleaner and this is enough to make three crowns out of and six pieces of ribbon. One that has golden cream, a really pretty cream ribbon, and then a really pretty red ribbon. So you're getting six pieces of ribbon total. And I will be doing a tutorial on how, just a quick tutorial on how to put these little crowns together. They're super easy, but I thought it would be a fun separate tutorial. So watch for that. So, so darling. And then my favorite part. So in this little packet, you are getting nine pieces of sparkly, flowery looking uh, leaves and three crystals. 
There are so many fun ways that you can use these. I came up with a few of my own, but I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Here is a close up of these little glittery leaves. There are nine of them. So you could use three on each doll. You could use all on one doll and then these beautiful crystals. I have fallen in love with adding crystals to my fairies after doing the birthstone series. And so I thought it would be fun to add these to this kit. And then of course you'll get the instructions. All of the instructions are taught through video tutorials by me. To access the playlist, all you have to do is hold your smartphone over the QR code. It will open up a link. You click on the link and it will take you to my YouTube channel. The second way you can do this is to go straight to my um, website, or you can also find all of these tutorials on my YouTube channel. Okay, so now into more detail about the dolls. And this is just a few of the ways I've put together different dolls with the supplies in this kit. So for this one, I use the red ranunculus. I used the sparkly gold glitter around her waist and I dressed her with the green thread and the red thread and then put that little red crystal right at the top. Here is another one. You can see I used the cream and the golden cream ribbon on her crown. I used gold glitter at her waist and around the tips of the petals. I love how sparkly it is and I love it around the tips of the petals. And I used the, it's almost like an opal colored crystal at the top of her dress and then the red and the green to dress her. This one I dressed in white. She has a little green crystal at the top. And then I actually used gold and red glitter to dip the tips of her petals into. I have a video tutorial on how to apply glitter to your fairy doll. All of this will be linked below. And with this one, oh, I, I love this doll. I added green around her waist and around the ends of the petals. And look at how beautiful that white rose is. I love adding the glitter to the tips of these petals. It's so pretty. I use the white and the green thread to dress her and put a red crystal at the top. And then she's got that red and cream and gold ribbon in the back. And then with this one, I kind of did the same thing, but I used the gold glitter. So I dressed her in wet, red and white with that little green crystal at the top. And then she's got gold around her waist and at the tips. Uh, the way to style the top of this dress, I also recently did a tutorial for, so that will also be linked below. And then with this one, I dipped the petals in the red glitter but around her waist I use some of those sparkly little leaves and a tiny bit of the gold glitter and look at how pretty this looks I love this around her waist it's so beautiful it reminds me of a snowflake almost I love how this doll turned out so pretty so Christmassy and you can see the beautiful detail in those little leaves with this doll it this is the green peony and I love how rich these colors are together neutrals are really in style this year lots of creams lots of um, just neutral colors and I thought this green was so pretty I used green around her waist and the opal uh, crystal right at the top dressed her in green here is that same flower but with this one I put gold around her waist and around the tips of all the petals uh, doing it with this flower is quite time consuming because there are so many ruffly layers, but look at how pretty it turned out. And then I added one of those little leaves to the end of her braid and the opal crystal at the top of her dress. And with this one, I added some of the leaves to the back of her little evergreen crown. And I love how that looks. I did gold around the tips of all the petals. I gave her a pair of gloves. There's a link for that below also. And then look at how pretty those petals look around, or those little leaves look around her waist. It just reminds me so much of a snowflake. So these are just some of the ways I put this, uh, these dolls together from this kit. You can see you can mix and match the glitter colors. Um, it's all super interchangeable. I am so excited to share this kit with you. It has so many fun things in it. I really feel like it's all about the details at the end that really make dolls unique and beautifully your own. If you're interested in purchasing a fairy kit, there will be a link below to my Etsy shop. Remember, there is a limited quantity of these. I also just came out with an angel fairy kit that will also be in my Etsy shop. What do you guys think?
I've worked really hard on this kit and I have been so excited to share it with you. All of these tiny little details, I spent so much time planning out. I really wanted a kit that you could do a lot with. So you're going to get tons of glitter, tons of petals, and you can really mix and match and interchange things. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I would love to know what other kits you'd like to see. I do have some fun ideas that I'm kind of playing around with, especially for the new year. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. I really enjoy hearing from you. I would love to see your fairy dolls. You can share them with the hashtag untidyartistfairydoll. And we'll see you guys next time.